Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Macros are little programs that you record that automate repetitive tasks for you. They're basically little programs. What a macro does is record your keystrokes and then save them as a visual basic module. When you run the macro later, it repeats your keystrokes, thus repeating your actions, which is why they're great for doing menial tasks. Say that you wanted to place a drawn object into the upper right corner of some slides. You could record a macro as you insert it once, and then run the macro in the future. It would repeat the exact same keystrokes you entered, repeating the process instantly. And you use the macro recorder to record your macros. So to start, select Tools, roll down to Macro, and from the side menu that appears, select Record New Macro. This brings up the Record New Macro dialog box, and you enter the name for your new macro into the Macro Name text box at the top. It's important to note that there can be absolutely no spaces in macro names, so if you need a space, use an underscore character or a hyphen instead. Click OK to start recording. It's important to note that all the keystrokes that you select after the clicking OK to start recording will be recorded. Now whenever you're finished recording, just click the big blue square on the Stop Recording toolbar which appears after you started recording your macro. That's it to making a macro. So in the future, in any slide you wanted to perform that same task on, to run the macro you could go to Tools, Macro, and choose Macros, select the macro that you'd like to run, and just click Run. So here it made the same little square. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.